Dream up your best and watch it unfold on the rugby field. That's what one off. What if is all about is making the unthinkable a reality in today's matches right down that line. Wellington, the Lions from the ITM Cup will line up here to face up against the Canterbury Crusaders in McLean Park for a match that can only be described as very unlikely. Hello, Ron, and welcome along to Cornflakes Crip, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the one-off What If series where you get to decide what you see out there on the rugby field. Today's match is for Mr. Lucky, who's requested this one along with the whole Canterbury team and a few omissions from this Wellington side. So the Lions, unsure whether you want to see the Crusaders or the Lions, but it's a little bit more interesting when you get the Lions out there coming up against the Crusaders. So today's matchup will feature the Wellington Lions and there's a few recognisable names in there if you've been following the Highlanders career the likes of Ridge Goods and Motu Motu'u the hooker one and two other notable players in this back in this side is Mark Reddish of course in the second row Artie Savia, the number seven and the captain for today as well a very talented young player for New Zealand rugby Brad Shields at the back number eight a super talent and a very good journeyman of New Zealand rugby. To the backs we turn now and it is Perinara who is going to be the spark that needs to light this Wellington team. Outsider Willie Repia has a bit of a problem. He is the real naming of a journeyman. He is what that is all about. He's been around a long time. He's experienced but does he have the ability to match up against the talent in this Crusaders team? It is Trebi and Pelisuma outside him in 12 and 13 and Ambrose Curtis will partner Proctor on each wing with Jason Woodward coming over from the Rebels to play now for Wellington to chase his dream of the All Blacks and that is the Wellington team for today's matchup up against the Crusaders so here it is as picked out by Mr Lucky thank you for your request as well and thank you for naming the team as well it's a pretty good team let's go through we've got Crockett and Fennell and Leonard Brown that is Daniel Leonard Brown it is the brother of Anton Leonard Brown who plays for the Chiefs, although quite hugely different positions. That is, Bird and Romano are in the second row with George Whitelock, Todd and Luke Whitelock in the back row. It will be Ellis and Carter, the 19 combo with Taylor and Crotty in the midfield. Ndolo and McNichol on the wings with none other than Israel Dag out there at fullback for this Crusaders team. It's going to be a cracker who's going to win this classic one between the Wellington Lions and the Crusaders. One off, what if? Only place you'll see matchups like this. All set to get underway. The Crusaders will be kicking off through Taylor. Taking the ball off Daniel Carter, and away we go on the left side for Taylor. Up it comes, and Todd's blocked it out, and he's offloaded to Crotty, but it's a forward pass. Wow, what a start already, straight off the whistle. Todd with the beautifully caught ball off the kickoff, and then, oh, could have been something special for Crotty. Touch. But already the Crusaders showing they're up on speed, they're up on ability. But not yet up on the scoreboard, just two minutes gone. Scrum packs down. In goes Perinara. Oh, look at that huge shove. That is a massive shove. Crockett for now. And Leonard Brown, beautiful job. Here's Luke Whitelock. Runs the ball wide. Alice, beautiful to Carter. Carter's in behind. He swivels, stamps, and scores. Daniel Carter opens it up. 5 0 for a set phase of the match. What a start to the game. The Crusaders have had two phases. They've made two big incisions into the Wellington defence. And now they've got the try. Whitelock, beautiful to Ellis. Ellis doubled round and beautifully threaded the needle. Pili Suma coming out of the line. That was their demise. As Carter slid through. Easily beating the tackle at the back from Woodward. Another super rugby player, but goodness could not handle the silky smooth skills of Daniel Carter. Look at that, left him for dust. And the defence could only try and tackle him as he went over the line. So Carter opens up, it's 5-0. Crusaders leading, Wellington hardly touched the ball. And now he'll convert his own try. 
right out in front. And he smashes it into the little hut behind the field. Over the fence. And a good start for the Crusaders who lead this one 7-0 over Wellington. Well, a golf in class here between the ITM Cup and the Super Rugby level. But it's a chance we've seen it before. Canterbury, if you remember a couple of matches ago, actually beat the Crusaders in an absolute stunner. But now we're back on the faction here. And look at this from Leonard Brown. He's screaming away. Puts on the fan. Gets through 1-2, but is eventually taken down. Good tackle coming up from Perinara. But how about that run there from Leonard Brown? Here's Crotty. Crotty. He's gone. He's over the 22. And Ryan Crotty. Gets number two for the Crusaders. They are looking classy here. And they are smashing Wellington. It's 12-0. Ryan Crotty gets try number two. But how easy was that? The run from Leonard Brown was just sublime. And then Crotty around the outside of Treby. And it was goodbye. And see you later. Try time Crusaders. It was a bit simple in the end. The run from the big prop, really. How was he so quick? That's a massive amount of speed from Leonard Brown. And the fend as well. Got rid of Woodward. Another laying a tackle from the fullback. Ryan Crotty benefits in the end. The Crusaders are up. Two tries to zip. Will it be two converted tries? Daniel Carter will answer that question. With a resounding yes. No worries there for the legend fly half. It's 14-0 Crusaders over the Lions. Early on, just 12 minutes gone. And it's one off what of match. Perinara back at halfway. This time he kicks shallow. Straight down the throat of George Wylock. He finds Carter, who's running it out for Todd. Beautiful hands here. Crotty, McNichol. Flings it back and field finds Ellis. Oh, he was looking back for McNichol, who was slow to get up. And as a result, it's gone into touch. It would have been a beautiful play had they come off, but maybe just asking a touch too much there of his winger. McNichol got hit pretty hard. Here's Matu nicely finds Reddish at the front. And Reddish holds it up, and the Lions look to drive. Here's Sione. Good ball out there for Curtis. And Ambrose Curtis trying to force his way through. Short ball. Oh, and that's a hammering on Filippo. Crusaders have taken the ball into touch. As Savia tries to calm down his big forwards. Ross Filippo getting a bit involved there. It was eventually Whitelock. Crouch. George Whitelock who took that Crouch. into touch. Crusaders picking up on the forward pass. And will pack down for a scrum. Resulting from that by the Lions. Ellis feeds. And Whitelock has his eyes on it at the back. Ellis will run it himself and he delivers a fireball across to Crotty. Who offloads to Taylor. This is nice. And Dolo comes forward for it. And the defence has come across to him. Good stuff from Pilisuma. And he's turned it over as well. And instantly they give it to Proctor. Who's driven backwards. Massive Please. tackle on Proctor. No room for the winger to move there. Such a versatile player as Proctor, as Perinara turns it inside. Inside to Shields. And what a run from Brad Shields. Into the 22. Please. The Lions have their eyes on a try. Perinara finds Reddish. Big pass wide. Again it's Shields. Goes inside. It's Savia. Finding support. Treby. Outside he goes again. Now's a chance, but no. Matu goes to ground. Good tackle. Israel Dag still in a man outside as well. Missed chance there. Ambrose Curtis could have been away. Now it's turned over Crusaders ball. And Taylor will thumb this downfield over halfway. Woodward gathers and he replies with a kick of his own. That Israel Dag will take and he'll claim the mark as well. And happily slow this down for the Crusaders. Who are going to opt for the kick. Taylor, straight down the heart, splits him in half, but they come it together nicely, and Woodward runs straight into Leonard Brown, and the pass has gone Advantage off over. the hands and forward. So turn over ball, Crusaders have a back, and Dolo has a race for you. It's Andolo and Proctor, side by side, drag race, Proctor's not interested. 
and Andolo goes in the corner. Wow, poor defence from Proctor had the speed, didn't have a go. Could have possibly had a shot at stopping Andolo. What a pass though. But we go back, Leonard Brown. He was the man that made the initial pressure because he put the tackle on. That forced the mistake. It was a good tackle, a bad pass, and the knock-on, which followed turnover ball, and straight out it goes to Andolo. And I'm surprised Proctor there, really surprised by Proctor. No interest at all in tackling the big man. But he happily trots over for a try and the Crusaders extend their lead. So now Carter gets a bit of a test. He's had two easy ones. Here's number three. That doesn't look bad. Not bad at all. Add them, he says. That's a dream of a kick from Daniel Carter. It's all bad news so far for the Lions. It's 21 0. But they've had a chance. They butchered it. And the Crusaders responded instantly as Perinara kicks off again. And oh, McNichol! Oh, massive shot! McNichol flying high. He's got it, but he's tapped it. He's got it again. Johnny McNichol finding a way through. Woodward gives chase. That's not a bad one, but it's not enough to catch McNichol. And what a turnaround. The Lions were up in arms about that tackle. The Crusaders were up in arms. But Johnny McNichol said, let's play the ball. He taps it and he sets off like a rocket. Credit here to Jason Woodward, he really gave it a good go. But McNichol had just enough gas in the tank. Big massive hole straight through the middle. Reddish had a chase. Pinanaro was there as well. But neither could match it. McNichol, such a big comeback after that high shot. As soon as he hit the ground, flying through the air to take that kick as well. What a beautiful try, Johnny McNichol. And the Crusaders get their fourth, and boy, they're looking fantastic. They say no to back-to-back -back losses to ITM Cup teams, that's for sure. Half-time goes as Carter nails his kick. Four from four for Daniel Carter. And Wellington are looking abysmal. The Crusaders are looking fantastic. Head to the sheds, half-time. It's a one-sided affair here at McLean Park. 28-0 is the scoreline. Look at that possession. 93%. That is huge. That is massive right up there with the highest possession rates of a half of rugby that I've seen in my time here on the fields. But 93%, that is just a massive amount. Territory 65-35. to 35. Crusaders having a bit of that as well. The one high tackle by Wellington. Costs him a try. Handlinger is relatively high here, which is a shame, but we're still having some very entertaining rugby. 5-4 to four on the Handlinger front. Other than that, it's plain sailing. One penalty and a scrum apiece to round out the stats. It is 28 to 28-0. The Crusaders wiping the floor here with the Wellington Lions in the first half. Can they carry on here in this phase of one-off what-if? The record is fantastic. The Crusaders, 5 win, 4 loss. The Lions on debut. Let's get back to the second half. Who's going to take that win? Piranara hasn't had a great day of the boots. But he will soldier on. He's a good player. As he kicks down the middle, what a take from Wylock. That is a just huge piece of possession. Stolen though. And nicely taken away. Matu drives the force first hit up. Pedanara finds Pelisuma. Oh, big shot on Pelisuma. He's lost the ball. And here come the Crusaders. For now, over to Andolo. And look out, Andolo just gets rid of Woodward. Massive fend. The defense has eventually taken him down, but that was a massive fend. Here's Taylor. Oh, that hole closed up very quickly on Taylor. But still retained ball. Carter, first receiver, finds Ellis out wide. Here we go again, McNichol looks to swing through. Beautiful offload to Leonard Brown, finds Luke Whitelock. And he's in the 22, 
And he sets it up here for the Crusaders. Keen for another go to Wellington. Oh, good work at the breakdown from the Lions. They've got this back. And Reddish has a bit Reddish. of a dabble himself. Well, this is hotly contested ball. But the Lions keep it. As Revia tries to slot through himself. Oh, Ellis has turned him over. And Taylor's behind. He finds Adolo. Adolo to Todd. Todd's going to go for the corner. But he won't get there. Great defence from Wellington holding on. The match is done as a contest, surely you'd imagine, but they're not going to give up just yet. So Lion out. Motu Motu throws in. Nicely taken in the middle from Filippo. Oh, and look at that. The Crusaders drive them back. And here's Sioni trying a bit of a run by himself, and he's turned over from Bird. Big ball from Bird. Oh, my goodness, Crotty was just metres out. Almost stunned at how close he was to the line. Taylor. Oh, easy. Easy stuff for Taylor. Crusaders are in again. It's 33 nil. Well, you eventually run out of players when you're against a team that can recycle ball this quickly. Crotty. All his Christmas is a kind of once there. Ambrose Curtis had to come off his ring to wing to stop Crotty. But that just left them short when the recycle ball come squirting back so quickly and Taylor had the easiest of finishes still had support outside and McNichol didn't need him and he trots around and for try number five the Crusaders well what can you say but this is just complete domination here as you'd expect but it doesn't always go that way the Crusaders will be hurting after that loss to their ITM Cup side, Canterbury, as Carter nails another kick. And he is in good touch here. Daniel Carter hit not run too much, but boy, his kicking is on song. 35-0 is the score. The Crusaders over the Lions. The Wellington Lions. If you're tuning in halfway through the match, it is Wellington Lions, not, not the Super Rugby from South Africa Lions. Here's Adi Savia, steals the ball, and oh, Crotty takes it back, and Fresnel knocks on. So, topsy-turvy stuff already as the Lions from Wellington get the ball back, and Ross Filippo goes diving into a tackle, advantage quickly over as Piranara takes a snipe before finding Adi Savia. Now it's out wide, and Curtis tries to make his way around. Please. Surely this is a penalty. How is that not releasing? Oh, that's a big call. Miss from the ref. Does not matter though. The Crusaders do it anyway. And Crotty. Crotty runs straight through. He's going to go for the corner. Oh, not a bad kick from Crotty. Maybe have been a better option for him. But the kick didn't work out too bad in the end. But misdirected. Poor chase from the Crusaders. Won't please them. But it is a line out. Motu Motu will throw in. And all oh, that's just taken from Filippo in the middle. Reddish joins in. They try them all and forward. But eventually. Oh, that's a good run. That's an ex excellent run from Hill. And Hill is in touch. Well, anticlimactic end, but beautifully taken. And switched through one. A little beautiful sidestep from Hill. Just about got him away. Boy, there was no one at home, too, for the Crusaders. But Ben Fennell will have the line out throw. And that's gone straight to the front. And straight to Romano. That is definitely not straight. So option here for the Wellington side. Christ. Scrum or line out. Cut. They've gone for the scrum. Backing their forwards. Tip. Going for the eight man shove to set off their set piece. Now recall earlier in the match. The Crusaders did destroy one of Wellington's scrums. So... Keep that in mind, Wellington. Oh, no, it's happened again. And the Crusaders get it back. That is just heartbreaking stuff for the Lions. The ball breaks down. A turnover from Todd. Now it's back with Wellington. And Curtis has it. Held on the left by himself. He goes to ground, but his friends finally arrive. And Wellington had the ball again. Here's Reddish. Oh, that's a big high shot. Andy Ellis. As all good scrum halves do, putting in the aggressive tackle on the bigger man, Mark Reddish. And Piranara, well, they've gone to tap it. Just six minutes remain, and Piranara, great run, but he's run out of room. 
Well, it took about five Crusaders players, but they eventually took him down. And if you can't do it with your team, he's gone to do it himself. Here's Fennell again. Five-man line out, goes to the front, Romano. Finds Ellis. Ellis, the total first receiver. Tries to the line. It's Taylor in the second line running. Crotty, quick hands and Dolo. Can't get away. Great chase. Great tackle, Proctor. Ellis again. Finds Whitelock. Oh, good tackle on him. And on Carter. Fennell picks up. And Fennell's got a bit of speed here. Through the heart he goes. Goes to the ground. 30 metres out. Crusaders losing this ball here. They're in a bit of trouble and they're going to lose it. Wellington get it back. Full time goes. They look wide. It's Reddish again. Offloads beautifully to Proctor. And Proctor through one. Gets taken down second time from Bird. And Bird's running away at the ball. Leonard Brown finds Whitelock. Big pass. McNichol steps. Gives to Crotty. Nice ball. McNichol again. Second run. Taylor Crockett. All oh, this offloading is fantastic from the Crusaders. Ball retention though. Not so good. They lose out again. Now Wellington coming back. Reefia. Can't get through there. Release. It's back for Curtis. And he goes straight into Romano. Release. And it's going to... Will it slowly come back? Crusaders, it does. Wow, it's topsy-turvy stuff to finish this off. Crusaders want one more. And Adolo will get it. And Dolo will finish this off. 89 minutes into the match. He said, let's end this, boys. 14-0. This is an absolute decimation of the Wellington Lions. It was have a couple of phases and give the ball away. There was a difference there. Filippo couldn't keep up with Crotty. And as a result... It did force Proctor off his wing to make the tackle of Crotty. And that left one man wide open. And there he goes. Nemani and Dolo. A double for him tonight. Well, today even. It's still sun shining. Bit ahead of myself on the time schedule. Carter will have the final say of the match. Flawless tonight, Daniel Carter. Can he finish it off? 92 minutes gone. Oh, that's a dreadful one. And Carter slides it to the right. Unsuccessful conversion, but the horse for this match had long bolted. Full time goes. Quite a long time overdue as well, but 40 points to nil. The Crusaders have had a fantastic match here and shown just what they are capable of. Another win for them. That puts them up to six wins and four losses from their 10 matches. Fantastic result for the Crusaders. 10 games they've played. That puts them right up there with the most popular sides along with the likes of the Leicester Tigers have played a lot of matches as well. So here is a breakdown of the score. So Crusaders 40 to nil. Wellington, of course, no scorers of any note for them. Zero points on the board. As for the Crusaders, Carter with one. Taylor, Crotty and McNichol with one apiece as well. But it was Ndolo who got a double to round out his day. Carter five from six. Nice day at the office for him. He got a good points haul at the end of the day there to Dan Carter. As for the stats, well, she did not change much at all, did it? 40 nil the score, 82% possession, 66 territory. It was all the red and blacks of the Crusaders that won them this match here. Great dominant matchup. High tackles, one apiece in the end, but tackles 49 to 34. Wellington forced into a lot more defense. Interestingly enough, there's no mention of handing errors there, which I'm quite happy with, and that is my time done and dusted for today. Thank you all for watching. And remember, if you have a request of your own, you can leave it in the comments below. Leave it on me, to me. Leave it with me. Third time at that. Leave it with me on Twitter with the handle at Cornflakes Crib. Check that out. Follow me if you like. Get all the updates coming straight to you on Twitter as well as plenty of rugby banter as well. So that is me. Thank you all for watching. Let me know your request. And thank you, Mr. Lucky, for your request today. Hope you enjoyed the match. And I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.